Hi, I'm Joan Salzman, CNET's digital media reporter. Do you want to broadcast straight from your face? Livestream has developed the first Google Glass app to do just that. Livestream is a company that helps anyone broadcast live video on the internet about almost anything. That includes big companies live streaming big events, like Twitter's IPO, to citizen journalism, to, of course, puppy and kitty cams. Livestream is releasing the first live streaming app for Google Glass, the head-mounted voice-activated computer from Google. We talked to Phil Worthington, a co-founder of Livestream, and its chief product officer, about the app. It's the first live streaming app for Google Glass. So anybody can now get their glass, install the Livestream app, and go live through the Livestream platform to any device, to TVs and iPads, iPhones, websites. Um, so it's really just enabling anyone with a pair of glass to go live. Worthington told us Livestream's mission is to democratize live streaming by releasing apps for iPhone, Android, and other platforms. This is the new kit on the block, and it's definitely the most portable, wearable camera that, that we've come across, so it's, it's perfect what we do. What I need to do in order to live stream from Google Glass is I turn it on, I say, OK Glass, live stream. <laughs> I get a thing that says go live, and I tap it to uh -huh. go live. And so what I'm seeing is starting broadcast, and it's starting to take a role. So what's happening yeah. on our screen? So what's happening now is it's taking the video from the glass and it's going up to our servers through a delivery network called Akamai. And so there's a little delay in getting to the website and the reason for that is just so that we can have scalability mm -hmm. so that you know hundreds of thousands of people can watch you. Mm -hmm. um, if your audience is that big, you know, which I'm sure it is. And then a few seconds later it appears on the website. The possibilities are almost unlimited from sports events to concerts to your day-to-day -day life. One good example is um, citizen journalism. We actually had a guy from Vice called Tim Pool who was using glass um, in the Turkey protests, which happened um, not too long ago. Um, so it's a great example of, you know, he would otherwise have had a, you know, an iPhone strapped to his uh, chest is what he used to do. You know, and you can still use iPhone. I guess technically they're kind of interchangeable, but you know, nothing really replaces the, you know, the first-person view that you're going to get from something like this. However, Glass itself has long raised privacy worries. Does the capability to live stream easily from Glass, possibly without the consent of those you're filming, heighten those concerns? Perhaps. Um, you know, I, I think it's a kind of, it's a balance between, you know, privacy and, and journalism and, you know, going back to the, to the urban journalists filming, you know, all sorts of crisis moments around the world. You know, yes, maybe there are privacy concerns, but I think, you know, the information that it shares with the world, you know, is much more valuable than that. And I think, you know, you're really not actually doing anything new that you couldn't do with a phone. So I think it's the same concerns that were there already. Uh, just the, the medium and the process for capturing those moments is just much more fluid and intuitive. So next time you see somebody wearing glass, don't forget to smile. You might be on candid camera.